Okay, Arrow Season 6 Finale, Episode 23. We came a long way. I, it feels like Season 5 was just a little while ago. I mean, it actually was just last year. But the thing is, um, I can't believe we're going into Season 7. I'm kind of happy. I still like the show Arrow. Um, I like where it currently is right now. Uh, I mean, shows are going to change so much. It's not always going to still feel like the first season. Some shows, some shows can do that given their setup and everything, their plot and um, characters, story elements and the way things go. But anyway, for this show, this season was a little different because we started out with a different villain. Uh, and and they've been doing that lately, having a villain for the first half and the second half introducing another villain worked really well in season five with Prometheus. But um, the thing is with this one, I didn't really feel uh, Richard Diaz or Ricardo Diaz. Richard Dragon, as I know him from the comics, you know what I mean? I don't really read DC Comics too much. I want to, because they got some great stories. But um, I found out about him before he even showed up on Arrow, because he was one of the, he's a relatively new character in the comics, I believe, within the last several years. But he's one of the guys who bested Batman in hand-to-hand -hand combat. There's a select few, you know, Lady Shiva, Bronze Tiger, also, uh, Deathstroke, of course, Bane, we all know Bane. And then there's Richard Dragon. You know, so he's a little different than he is in the comics, but still, regardless, he can still brawl, he can still get down, but not like he can in the comics, not at all. He was trained by the League of Assassins in the comics, so it's 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 a little different. But um, I actually like this character. I wasn't feeling him at first when he started to take over and set everything up. He's playing like he's you know this prodigy and he's got this master plan and stuff like that. But that's what um, Prometheus did also, right? Adrian Chase. But what's different about this is I feel like Richard Dragon, aka the Dragon, Ricardo Diaz, we're gonna call him Diaz. I feel like he's more of a nuisance of a villain. You know what I mean? He might not be as crafty because sometimes he loses cool and then he operates off of emotion. He's reaction, he's impulsive. Um, you know, it's I th he's like a nuisance. He was just like, oh my gosh. Get rid of him, and then somehow, if the plan goes to the hash, it messes up, he just jumps in there. He, he does whatever's crazy, and then gets away. So that works, because he's different. You don't want all the characters, all the villains of each season to seem the same, have the same thing. Slade was as different as Malcolm Merlin was. He was more coordinated. He had special abilities. Then they brought in, you know, the League of Assassins. So, you know, we had... um. Raj, Al Ghul, and then we had uh, Damien Dark, Mystical Arts and stuff. Really didn't, it, that just didn't work for me. Um, then we got Prometheus, and now we have uh, Diaz. I think he worked out pretty well for this. Then he had his own episode, really. That's that episode where we barely seen any Arrow. We seen like uh, a glimpse of him on the news or something. Everybody was like, what the hell? What? I'm watching Arrow. Where's Arrow? At least show me Oliver. He doesn't even have to dress up as Green Arrow. But the, the episode was a good episode. It's just not what I wanted. But it was a good episode. You know what I mean? I was just like, okay, all right. And it, and it helped further the story along for Diaz. Now, um, the whole the whole crew, they split up at the beginning of the, oh, and halfway through the first half of the season. You know, the newbies and original Team Arrow, original Team Arrow member right here. Well, I, I just, I, I love Diggle, Felicity, and Oliver working together. Lila's well addition. You can bring her in anytime you want. Sarah can come back anytime she wants. Roy, don't mind Roy. Can't get with Black Siren. I never liked Laurel as Black Canary. Because when they set Sarah up as Canary, I'm just like, cool, that works for me. And I just liked how she was. Laurel, no, it really didn't work. That's why the writers made changes. And if I can remember Kate, Kate Cassidy, is that her name? Is that her last name, Cassidy? Whatever. I thought she wanted out of the show, and that's why they killed the character off. Or she asked him to kill the character off. I'm not sure. But she came, black as, she came back as Black Siren. I enjoyed that. Which was Black Simon, a bad guy. But it got on my nerves every single time Quentin was like, Lord, that's not his kid. And he knows this. No matter how much she looked like her, she didn't act like her. I would have gave up right then and there. She she tried not to kill Quentin, but she was trying to kill other team members. That wasn't Laurel. And then he has Sarah. Sarah's still out there. She's time traveling with the legends and stuff. But she's still out there. But he cared about Laurel so much, trying to save Laurel because she died, I guess. You can lose Sarah. You almost did. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Quentin was tripping over that chick. I'm like, why is she still on Earth 1? Just so they can keep Kate on the show, I, I guess. But I, I'm like, to be honest with you, 
I'd rather just find a way to bring Lil back to life, man. I don't know. And then just not have her be Canary. You know, because I do like Diana. I don't like her outfit, but I like Diana's um, Canary in this, the way they're doing with her. It's it's good enough. It's good enough. I like the actress, but, the, you know, whatever. But um, I like it. All of it. Prometheus showed up in this season, whatever. But I really want to speak about the finale. I think the finale was good because what it did was started off with Oliver telling the FBI, I forgot her name. Why am I forgetting her name? Let me look it up real quick. But he told that woman who was after him at, with the FBI, he was like, you know what? Um, I'm the Green Arrow. I can't stop Diaz on my own. So he needed help. So he enlisted his team members, you know, the newbies uh, and um, Diggle and stuff. And he was like, I got to take on Diaz. Diaz has a whole force of crooked cops other people with him so I can't do this alone um so he took them on and you know usually a finale have a big fight scene at the end of the show the episode it actually happened in the middle really and I was like whoa we got almost a half an hour left and we just had the big fight scene and I knew Diaz wasn't dead you know what I mean after Siren uh blew him off the the roof and he fell in the water he falls in the water evil villain not dead hero falls in the water not dead that's just how it plays out Come on, man. Where's her name at? Ah, messed up. Well, regardless. Yeah, um, so Oliver turned himself in. So some FBI members knew he was uh, Oliver Queen, but not the whole world and everything yet. Not Star City. So um, they took on Diaz. Diaz got away. Then all of a sudden, Oliver turns himself in. And everybody's like, what? You're turning yourself in? That was a part of the deal. Because the episode before, she told him, she was like on... Two, two things and I'll help you out. And he was like, what is the second one? And it went off. But that was a part of the deal. He turned himself in. So now all of Star City knows he's Oliver Queen. I don't think he's going to get out of it this time. Since season one, he's been suspected to be the arrow. You can't keep getting out of it. You really can't. I'm, I'm really excited to see how they take the show forward going on. Uh, what is he going to say? He retires as the Green Arrow. But now all these bad guys going to know who he was. And all these good guys going to know who he was too. His, but his life's not going to be safe. You know what I mean? William's going to be a target. Felicity's going to be a target. Anybody connected to him. Thea's left the city, so she should be okay for the meantime. But that's the thing. It's it's This is going to be interesting. Also, there's some rumors that Batgirl, or Batwoman, I can't remember which one, is supposed to be appearing in Season 7 of Arrow. I don't care. That works for me. People wanted Nightwing. I think they stayed away from characters that they would have wanted to develop their own shows for unless they develop in a CW uh, universe. Because what if Batwoman shows up and then they develop a Batwoman show? Batman has to be connected. They don't have to show him, mention him, train by him, a part of the Bat family. It has to go that way. He can the Bloodhaven a couple of times. So Nightwing could be referenced here too. It's just that Superman showing up in Supergirl, I mean, how can you really avoid it? You don't never want to see a Supergirl show without Superman being in it. They mention him a bunch of times, but it just... <laughs> I was excited the episode was okay, but it's just like, where's he at? I want to see more Superman. You, two characters you almost never get enough of, Batman and Superman. Some people do, but the majority of people out there never get enough of them. So it's like, you don't want to mess around with them. But a Nightwing show kind of is coming, Titans and stuff. It's not connected to the CW universe as far as we know right now. But I would like to see Batwoman or somebody, some other DC superhero show up in this. We had a couple, lots of villains. It's DC Universe, just on television. Why not? You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, so also Roy Harper is supposed to be coming back as a series regular on season seven. So that that works, too. Like I said, I'm, I'm all for Roy, Sarah, Diggle, Lila, and stuff. Being, well, Diggle's a part of the original Team Arrow. But Lila, Sarah, Roy, I'm all for them joining up on uh, the team. Uh, it's kind of hard to deal with Renee. Um, it's kind of hard dealing with Mr. Terrific. I think he's cool because he can come up with gadgets and stuff, just like Felicity, but more so gadgets. He does more gadgets instead of just tech stuff. Um, and Diana, I like her being on the police force. I like when she jumps in every now and then just to be canary. Uh, it's cool, but you know, Oliver having to deal with them all the time, it got annoying. They they were annoying, especially when the team split up. Oh my gosh, I couldn't get with them. I'm not just jumping on the bandwagon of where I like original team Arrow more, and I just don't care about them. No, sometimes they were annoying. But maybe they were supposed to be for the story. Just like I said, Diaz, he was a nuisance of a villain. And that worked. It was just like, oh, he gets on my nerves. He keeps getting away. But he's reckless sometimes, but he still gets away. That was cool. He he was he was a tactician. Strategy was good for tearing Oliver down. You know, he was a threat. 
but he was at the same time very uh, loose cannon like you know what I mean so he didn't have it all together I don't know I, I think he was cool you know the way he was he, he like even when him and Oliver had a one-on-one -on -one fight you were thinking Richard Pryor is going to get close to winning this or win it but he didn't Oliver was winning and they were going back and forth but Oliver started winning and what he did was he broke the rules he didn't fight bare-fisted he, he stabbed him you know that's what I like about him he's just like all right, come on, this is how we're going to do it. He starts losing, he cheats, and then he's like, I'm a villain, what do you expect? I like that. It's 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 a little new for Arrow. Everybody's not playing on an even playing field. and um, But he really doesn't care about the rules sometimes. But his backstory helps shape to why he just wants to succeed so much. You know what I mean? Whatever. But overall, I think episode 23, the season finale, I keep saying 23. Yeah, it's 23 episodes, so what? It always is. But I think it was good. I think it was a good episode. Um, good finale. Quentin died. I should have mentioned that early in this, but I was just waiting. Um, knew he was going to die. I saw that he was leaving the show on Twitter, and everybody was like, oh, now we know he's going to die. We don't necessarily know he's going to die. He's just leaving the show. But usually they do it in depths. It's CW. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. He died for Black Siren, man. That's not even his daughter. Sarah didn't get a chance to see him and say goodbye. She shows up. He's already dead. It sucks so bad. I do not like Quentin was my man. I did not want Quentin to go. He's been there since season one. I understood his, his standing in season one and stuff. Quentin was my man. I did not want to see him go. Darn. No more Quentin, huh? Unless we go to a different earth or something or they do flashbacks, but man. Quentin. Man, I felt it too. I was I didn't I didn't get teary. I I'm really sensitive. Especially at my age now. I don't know why. I tear up and cry a lot on TV shows and movies. But I didn't get there because I was more pissed of how he died and why he died. Come on, man. I mean, they had to hit you with that. They had to hit you with that in this episode. or yeah, I, I don't know. But Quentin? Dang, man. Dang. Anyway, yeah. So we don't get no more uh, Detective Lance. Renee had a relationship with him. You can see how hard Renee was taking it. Oliver took it hard. Felicity took it hard. Everybody did. But um, it, I like that character, man. I love Lance, man. Oh, man. But anyway, look. One thing we know is Thea's never probably dying. Felicity's never going to be a vigilante without costume and stuff. But Thea's never probably dying. That's I, I believe the showrunner said that. You know, he's, he said he's never going to kill Phil. I mean, um, Thea. Because Oliver already lost his mom, dad, best friend. Come on now. Anyway, um, yeah, that's my review of the season finale of Arrow. It went on kind of long. Uh, it, it was a good one. It really was. It's better than season three finale. Uh, that was okay. Season four finale, that was okay too. Both of those were too similar. This was better than those. I really, I rate this uh, probably fourth i like the season finale of one two and five and then this one comes you know fourth um pretty good can't wait to see what they do with uh dragon next season oliver next season and stuff like that i'm i'm, I'm really just ready see y'all in october